We are Vicky's subconscious. We control all of her emotions. I'm pettiness. That's jealousy. Kindness. Never showed up for work. Vicky is Timmy Turner's greedy, selfish, and ruthless babysitter from the Nickelodeon TV series The Fairly Odd Parents. Throughout the show's run, we see Vicky go from being a two-faced babysitter that bullies children to a sadistic villain that wants to take over the world. Alright, Twerp. Time for bed. But it's only 6.04. Well, it's 9.04 on the East Coast. Bed! Dictator week. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do next. Get to the biographical channel and change history so that I can take over the world! Strangely enough, the reason for Vicky's evil intentions is never truly explored. The most we're given are a few hints in earlier episodes, which is a shame because if we look carefully and examine these rare moments of Vicky being vulnerable, she suddenly becomes more of a tragic villain. So what happened? What vicious ventures led Vicky to vivaciously transform into a vain, violent, and venomous villain? Very non-vigilant parents? Or a vibrantly villainous predisposition? It's time to analyze. Vamos! There's not enough people with originality, so here I am to save the day, Janiac. Something immediately noticeable about Vicky is her short temper. It really doesn't take much to make Vicky angry, so a lot can be learned when looking at the few things that make her happy. Vicky has a zestful love for money, violence, and her pet dog, Doidle. Her favorite singer is Chip Skylark, and when she first meets him in Season 2's episode Boys and the Band, she loses interest in him once she learns that he's not rich. But then in Season 7's episode, Frenemy Mine, she says, Chip Skylark is my favorite singer ever! Not only did he sign this poster, but he even dripped sweat on it during his last concert! Along with this, Vicky has a knack for convincing everyone's parents that she's a good babysitter. Though this is mostly due to the parents' incompetence, and not just Vicky being a good actress. She's shown proficiency at skateboarding, snowboarding, and using a wide variety of weapons. She's so good at tormenting children that she's the primary reason why Timmy Turner has fairy godparents. Speaking of Timmy, there are several instances where he wishes for ways to get back at Vicky. But when Timmy wishes for Vicky to be nice in Season 4's episode, Vicky Loses Her Icky, we get this exchange. Must have crawled up there. Man, without that bug in her butt, Vicky's great. Three seasons later, when Timmy wishes to save Vicky in front of me mine, without the help of magic, she naturally becomes nicer to him. Simply because no one had ever shown her kindness before. You ruined my life! Thanks to you, I have no friends! Of course you don't have any friends. You're vicious and hateful. If you want friends, you have to be, say it with me now, friendly! He did save me. I don't understand. Strange feeling in my chest. Because Vicky lost her friends in the same episode, it doesn't take long for her to become an overbearing friend towards Timmy, trying to spend every hour with him. This leads me to believe that Vicky's anger doesn't simply come from a bad childhood but rather her genuine lack of understanding. Because she doesn't know how to be nice, she takes pride in the one thing she does know. I can't believe this! You are the absolute worst human being on Earth! Thank you! Pair this with a bad childhood and terrible friends, and you get a hateful person that doesn't know how to change, or why they should even want to. Despite all of this, Vicky has shown that she is capable of sincere love in Season 4's episode, The Odd Couple. And in the Fairly Odd Parents comic book, Pack of Lies, the reason she's so mad at Timmy is because he lied to her younger sister, Tootie. Speaking of Tootie... He was so upset about your daughter, Vicky! 
Pinky, we thought maybe you two would be able to tell us something. Vicky is the kindest, sweetest, and most thoughtful daughter a parent could ask for. Not much is known about Vicky's home life. The only consistent thing we're shown is her parents and her little sister being horribly afraid of her. The only solid piece of evidence we have to any sort of childhood trauma would be her breakdown in Season 3's episode, Snowbound. And then, when I was eight, my mom said my turtle ran away! But it didn't run away! Turtles can't run! In Season 2's episode, The Switch Glitch, after Timmy wishes for Vicky to turn into a five-year-old, Vicky is noticeably more obedient, calm, and emotional. This may be a stretch, but perhaps Vicky's turning point occurred sometime after losing her pet turtle. After discovering what her parents had done to her, Vicky, being the over-emotional girl that she is, transformed her incredibly innocent attitude into an incredibly bitter one. With this newfound hatred, maybe Vicky took out her frustrations on her parents, and this only got worse when they decided to have their second child, Tootie. Because Tootie is much sweeter and loving than her older sister Vicky, it's possible that her parents treated Tootie a lot better, thus causing Vicky to become even more resentful. It would explain why she's particularly harsh towards Tootie, even though Tootie hasn't done anything bad to Vicky, without reason. In fact, in Season 5's episode Birthday Wish, Tootie gets Timmy's fairy godparents, and instead of wishing for vengeance against Vicky for ruining her birthday, Tootie just wishes for a better birthday. She doesn't even consider hurting Vicky. Tootie analysis anyone? Anyone? Or how about Trixie Tang? Or even better, Betty Quinlan. Huh? Huh? I should also mention that Vicky has a little brother, whose voice we hear in the pilot episode. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. It works great at my house! Just ask my little brother! Here's an illustration of what he'd look like. I call to order this meeting of brat. Babysitters raging against twerps. Members of the High Council, I vote we banish Vicky. You guys can't kick me out! You guys are my only, I mean, best friends! Assuming Vicky genuinely doesn't know how to be nice, her friends certainly aren't helping matters. The only friends Vicky seems to have are other teens that enjoy making children miserable. Earlier I mentioned how Vicky showed interest in Chip Skylark for his money. Interestingly enough, Chip isn't the only person Vicky's had a crush on. In Season 4's episode, A Bad Case of Diarrhea, uh, Timmy reads Vicky's diary and learns about her crush on fellow student Winston Dunsworth. Her affection appears to be genuine, seeing as how she doesn't only like him for his possessions. She even cries after he breaks up with her. Five episodes later, we get The Odd Couple, where Timmy wishes for Vicky to have a boyfriend. Ricky is his name, and it doesn't take long for Vicky to become infatuated with him. Unfortunately for her, he's only interested in Vicky's money. Oh, the irony. After they break up, Vicky cries. Noticing a pattern yet? In Season 5 episodes, Love at First Height, Vicky becomes infatuated with a guy named Ga, who's really just a 16-year-old Timmy. After Timmy gets rid of her, Vicky, you guessed it, cries. When Vicky has a crush on someone, she easily becomes obsessed with them, attempting to devote all of her time to them and hurt anyone who tries to take them away from her. Vicky's probably so desperate for companionship that the moment any guy shows something that she desires, her heightened feelings of rage turn into heightened feelings of lust, which always leads to disappointment. But not all hope is lost for Vicky. On the flip side, we have the Yugopotamian prince Mark Chang, who Vicky shows no interest in which isn't such a bad thing. After all, Mark only likes Vicky for her bad behavior, and I'm sure the minute Vicky starts acting nice towards him, he'd lose interest. Definitely not a healthy relationship. Vicky presents us with an interesting dilemma. 
If someone's never known kindness their entire life, then can we blame them for not being kind? Are they entirely to blame for any bad actions if that's what they see as being right? By no means am I justifying Vicky's behavior, it's just a thought. You know, uh, when I was a kid, I actually had a little crush on Vicky. <laughs> Don't ask why. While rewatching the show, I suddenly remembered how great the music is in it. Speaking of music, be sure to follow me on Spotify, Instagram, and Twitter if you want to keep tabs on me. If you're already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to my backup channel, Janiac Tunier, in case anything bad happens to this one. And finally, please take a look at all of the merchandise. There's a brand new design there waiting for you guys. If you have any ideas for merchandise, please let me know in the comments below. Until then, I'll leave you with this. Hey, my heart's got a nice beat going. Um. Go hot beat.